Hi guys, welcome back to Empower In. Thank you so much for joining me. So, this video is concentrating on how we bring out the nursing student or nursing rock star within. So, let's get started. Um, so I want you to think about your life and I'll tell you stories from, you know, my life. And I want you to think of times when you were really on top of your game. Like, maybe as a nursing student, maybe as a nurse, maybe as a pre-nursing student, you know, whatever. So let me tell you one story for me when I was totally on top of my game and I sounded, you know, not only myself, but a lot of other people as well. So one time during um, a critical thinking class, I um, knew that this instructor was going to have a very difficult test because I could just tell. I mean, he was so detail oriented very specific and I knew I had to study really hard. Well apparently I studied plenty because when I got my first grade back um, he said that I had gotten the highest grade that any of his students had had in his 15 years of teaching and that the entire class had done so poorly that he had to give a 15 point curve you know 15 point you know plus curve which made my grade 115 percent so let me tell you, I did feel like a rock star. Um, and I've had similar moments with that in anatomy physiology, in, in chemistry, and also in a lot of my nursing classes. So I'm thankful for those experiences, for those rock star feeling experiences. Um, of course, you know um, that I have had some experiences that were not so rock star feeling. Um, I don't know. I said it in another video, but maybe you guys didn't catch it, which is totally cool. It's a lot to keep track of all these videos. But I um, accidentally, and I'll explain it another time, but I accidentally took anatomy physiology two before one. And the first grade on my first test was covering the cardiovascular system, and I got a 40. So I didn't feel so great. You know, I just felt like the, the stupid person in the class. Um, so that was the opposite of feeling rock star. Um, so if you haven't already, I want you to think of times when you were a rock star and not a rock star. And there is a motive to my madness, so stay, you know, keep, keep listening. Um, okay, so my question to myself, I asked this years ago, was this. How can I feel like a rock star more often? How can I experience that feeling more often? You know, I know I can't shoot for 100% of the time because then I'll just be um, a failure all the time because you never can be 100% all the time. Um, so I started observing my thought patterns while I was in the rock star and the disempowering state and they're totally different. Um, what I realized, though, was that when I was in my rock star state, I was asking myself a question. And this question just kept coming up. And it was really simple. Here's the question. What else can I do? That's it. Nothing crazy, nothing complicated. That's it. But this question was like triggering different parts of my brain to just come up with more things to do and more, you know, creativity and more just everything, you know? So when I was a nursing student, I was like, okay, what else can I do? And I would think about, you know, visiting this teacher or studying with this person or studying this or doing that or, you know, drinking less coffee, more water, drinking more coffee, less, you know, everything. So there are all kinds of things that would come from this one question. When I was a nurse, I would, um, ask the same question and I would come up with all different kinds of things that I could do. Like what else can I do? Well, if a patient asks for water, just grab two cups and straws because otherwise you're going to get to the room and they're going to ask you for cups and you have to run back out. Or if they ask for this one medication, ask them if they want anything else or, you know, say just, just little things like little things that you can make your job easier. And it all just came from this one question. So I was like, okay, if this question is so powerful for me, then how can I, you know, when I'm in a disempowering state, how can I remember that? So um, I started plastering the question everywhere. This is a folder that I used in nursing school. Not a, exactly this folder, because that would be 
weird, the really old folder. But this is, um, I use, I've always had a folder and I still use it to this day. Um, if any of you guys see me at work, you'll probably see me with this if you live in the Miami area. Um, but I plaster it on my notebook sometimes. Um, now I don't as much, honestly, because it's just instinctive. I've done it for so long and so many years that I, I just think it all the time. But um, I used to plaster it all the time. I used to write it down um, before on my little journal before I went to bed. I used to put it, just post it everywhere. Um, like I said, now like I'm so used to this question that, you know, I don't really have to post it anymore because it's just, you know, it's ingrained in me. But then, so that was when I was feeling powerful. So then there was another time, you know, there were other times when I felt the exact opposite. Um, I would feel so, you know, disempowered and so incapable and so just the opposite of rock star. And what I noticed was that I would, wouldn't really say anything to myself. I would just have this like thought in my head that literally was like a physical feeling that just was like, oh, or like, oh, like I would literally, I don't even say this out loud, but I would just literally like think it and feel it. And um, so what I did was that when I was in those feelings, I would just look at my sticky notes or, you know, think this question. And of course, things start out slowly when you're in a really disempowering state, you will start off slowly like, okay, I um, would ask myself, what else can I do? And I wouldn't really feel it. But then when asking that question, I would come up with something and then I would do, do it. And then after I did something, I would be a little bit more out of the disempowering state. And then I would do something else and I would come out. And then before I knew it, I just broke through. And I was in my, you know, rock star state again. So, um, what if, um, okay. So I want to make sure I cover everything. But, um, so what I want you guys to do is a little assignment because you guys all have rock star nursing students and nurses within. And what I want you to do is observe your thoughts. And when you're in this powerful state, what are you asking yourself? And just remember that. And once you have the question, I want you to post it below. Because, as I know for myself, from my experience, that I am working with some of the smartest people that I know. Guys, I get your emails. I, you know, a lot of you email me with your questions and concerns. And, you know, do I have a high enough GPA? Guys, I know that you guys are some of the smartest people online. Okay? Anyone trying to pursue a nursing degree has not only, like, you guys are just the smartest people, but hands down. So I would like to learn from you as well. Um, what is your powerful question? Uh, what question inspires you to do more, be more, and just be a better person? So I can't wait to hear from you. I can't wait to see the post because, I mean, this will help me out too immensely. So um, also, if you can't think of a power question, I will let you borrow mine. So, if you want, you can start asking yourself, what else can I do? It worked for me. <laughs> Alright guys, I love you, and I can't wait to hear from you. And keep the emails, subscriptions, comments, likes going. Alright, I can't wait. Till next time. Bye. Mwah.